Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently I uploaded a couple of videos, one being Wing Chun fight training and the other one being sparring drills. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend you check it out. Now, in class last night, a student asked me, how can I get into sparring effectively, starting with no experience? And I always usually say, to build up your confidence, you need to learn to stop a punch, stop a kick, and attack, break the guard. So that's what I've done today. I've put together three different techniques that I've shot in the past and I want to share it with you today in this video so that way you can learn these strategies. So guys, let us not waste time, let's get started. All right guys, so technique number one, the attack is coming with a wild haymaker punch to the face. So what we're doing in this scenario is just basically if I've got my guard up and I see the hook come at me, I will just cover, right, with a tansel and hit back immediately. Once I find the opportunity, then I can follow up with a chase and then finish it off with a kick. So it looks something like this. Excellent, technique number two. So this time I'm getting away and the entry will be from the side. I'm dealing with a front snap kick punch. So slowly, I see the punch come at me, I get away and then I can counter attack moving in. This is my entry point. And then once I go, let's say towards the ribs, then I can follow up and go towards the face. I choose the ribs because Brendan is quite tall. So then if I see him coming at me, I stop the first one. When this one's coming, boom, I can just stop and go to the ribs. Once I'm there, then I can go up high towards the face. So normal speed, it looks something like this. Okay, now for technique number three. This time our opponent is holding kind of like a wide guard. So what I would do in this scenario, I would actually redirect his attention. Because his arms are quite wide and long, right, I wouldn't necessarily try to reach the face or try to reach the side because now his hand is pretty um, close to me. So if I go low, he can drop that hand and kind of cover or cover right there. So what I would do is something like this where I would just go towards the leg, all right, to just drop his, his attention and then follow up. So once I've done that, then it's easy. Then I would practically just follow up with another kick at the end. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button, share it with a friend. And guys, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. There's plenty of material there to keep you busy training and taking your Wing Chun to the next level. If you haven't already, check out my online academy. It's umauniversity.com.au. There's a free introductory applied Wing Chun course you can check out and learn from those videos as well. Having said that, I'll see you in the next one.